be honest. Um, just generally speaking, um, what has made Charlotte kind of a, a, a difficult match for you guys this year? And, and sort of how did you, how were you guys able to kind of pull it out tonight? Um, we just play fast, play fast, have great scores. Um, they make threes, um, one through four, you know, shoot. Um, Graham can shoot. Rosary can shoot. Uh, Watson can shoot, Bridges can shoot, shoot. Uh, Martin can shoot, like, just stuff, stuff, you know. And they just play fast, too, and they get a lot of shots up. Uh, and uh, if you're not, um, if they keep them in front, they're going to drive and kick and find the open man, and they just keep doing all, all game. They do it for 48 minutes, and uh, that just makes it hard. In order for you to beat them, you got to play hard. Uh, you got to break it for 48 minutes. How have, um, I know miss games for not just yourself, but other players is a part of this, but you guys have been, you played 500 ball basically the last month. Um, so what have you seen, I guess, either we've in the five, game? We've yeah, 500 last month? Yeah, nine and nine. Um, so, you know, win a couple, lose a couple. Um, but what have you seen, I guess, maybe within that, that, that is, has you thinking, okay, it, it, it can turn as, you know, there's only what? 12 games left, 13 games left? Uh, personally, I uh, I want to win. You know, I'm a winner and I can play hard every single game. Uh, but as long as I see that, you know, my team is in a good place and uh, we're building good habits and we're defending and, uh, you know, uh, we're playing well with one another, I'm, I'm, I'm happy. You know, uh, the outcome... I really don't care about the outcome. You know, as long as I see Drew, Chris, they're in a good place, Bobby, Rook, Dante, Brain, everybody's in a good place and they're playing well. And um, they, we are executing our uh, game plan well, we're defending well, we're rebounding well. You know, and at the end of the day, we might do all those things well and still lose the game. You know, but uh, I know once we're in a good place mentally as a team, we're going to be tough to beat. And uh, we might be 9-9. Nine and nine. Um, Personally, I don't really don't care about the record. I don't know if we're third, fourth. I, I haven't watched Stan all year, and I'm not going to. What I, what I care about is just look at my teammates' face, look at their eyes, you know, just seeing the fight in their eyes and seeing the fight in my coach Bud eyes, and I'm not in a good place. You know, standing doesn't mean nothing to me. Last year, we were first by far. You know, and uh, the Indian went away, you know, and uh, Miami, what was Miami, sixth last year? They were sixth, fifth, fourth, uh, I think they were sixth, I'm not sure, sixth, and they went to the, uh, they went to the finals. You know, so you never know how these leagues going to work. As long as we build good culture around, around this team, we're going to be in a very, very good place, you know, and that's what, okay. I, what I believe. Sorry. Uh, just quickly, uh, I, I have to ask because generally you take so much contact and you don't say much to anyone about it. But uh, you did have some words for PJ with, with that trip. What? What? Uh, I don't know if you want to share what you said, but what? What made you at least express yourself in that moment? I, I haven't watched the play. Did Did he uh, trip me on purpose or no? What I do mean, you think? He, is there sore? I mean, I I don't know what the a little bit. Huh? That, that's what I felt. Yeah. I felt like he because his leg came with a fo with force right i didn't see him so i haven't watched the play so I, I was i was upset you know because a dangerous play you know i was about to go and uh i feel like it tripped, it tripped me a little bit but at the end of the day you know he plays hard you know and uh, i'm sad respect every single one of them uh but i'm i'm you know i'm african you know, if you you know if you're coming at me, I'm gonna, I'm gonna come at you. Especially if I think that you're doing it on purpose. Eric, name. Uh, late in the game, Bud was going kind of offense defense with Brooke and PJ. Um, that's not really an option you guys have had in the past to kind of do some of those things. What was that like for you to kind of? I mean, this is what we've been talking about, right? Like the versatility, the different options. Like that was on full display for the final five minutes. Of it. It's, it's it's amazing to me, you know, and, um, you know, he was making the subs at the, uh, late in the game and you're, you know, you're taking a guy that's a 
great defender. Brook is a great defender. You know, and you put in a guy that still brings toughness in the team, and you can go small, and you can read everything and keep guys in front. Like, it's insane. Like, you're going from good to great. And, you know, like, both of those players can guard, you know. And uh, it says a lot about our team and how versatile we can be going down the stretch. And uh, how can we, we can basically switch everything and keep guys in front. You know, if you're going to beat us, you're going to beat us by making tough shots over us. You're not going to break down this defense. And uh, it's amazing that we can do that. Um, all of us have egos, right? Um, what does it say about those two that they're like, that's like, if you take me out in the final couple minutes, like I'm, I'm going to be pissed off. Like that's going to be how it goes. But those two guys seem to be able to like handle it and kind of understand how all this works. PJ PJ is 35 years old. I've been there, done that. You know, he understands what we're trying to get out of this. He knows that we're trying to win games. You know, and he's doing whatever it takes to win games. You know, uh, Tanasis. Sometimes he comes in for five seconds and to play to play one defense. He understands what we got to do to get a stop. You know what I'm saying? The same thing with Brook. Brook has scored 40,000 points in his career. He doesn't get it, he gets out. Sometimes he gets, but okay. Uh, but he understands the game that we're trying to, what we're trying to get out of it, you know, every single um, game. So I think they're, they're both mature and uh, it's good that we, we're able to have guys like that. Uh, what does it mean for you late to be able to find Drew on a cut like that? Like that give and go where all of a sudden there's just a space and he somehow gets through it and, and you got an easy dunk there. Uh, it's great. I love that play. You know, I love that play. And, uh, you know, Drew is so good. He knows when to cut. He knows when to screen my, my man or screen his own man. He knows when to fake a cut and come back to the three-point line. He knows when to come off it. Like, he's so smart. And uh, I'm a willing passer. You know, I can lead plays. Uh, and uh, I think going down the stage, that's, a, that's going to be a great play for us. Zora? Dora, we can't hear you. What did you think of the way that Brooke was able to take advantage of Charlotte's small ball offensively? Got that? No? No, we're, we're having a hard time hearing you, Zora. Let's go to uh, Steve Reed with the Associated Press. Hey, Giannis, Steve Reed with the AP uh, here in Charlotte. Um, I, I, was there any extra motivation, you know, when you're playing a team like Charlotte that's, that, that's beat you twice this season? I mean, are you... I mean, obviously, you you under you realize that, but I mean, was it some extra motivation? Yeah. Wept by him. Yeah, for for sure. Uh, we came out. We were focused. We know that uh, they they beat us twice. And, uh, we wanted to, you know, get one. Uh, we didn't want to get swept. But at the end of the day, we, we went out there, competed as hard as we, we could, and uh, put ourselves in a position to win. But for sure, everybody was locked in, and uh, we were extra motivated to win this game. Right, thanks, Giannis. Thank you, guys. I got Zora's question if we want it. Tell me, what is it? Uh, she asked, or she wanted to ask, what did you think of the way Brooke was able to take advantage of Charlotte's small lineup? He was amazing. He did everything great. Like, like when he's posting up, it's, it's, it's beautiful to watch, you know? And uh, especially when there's so small, they cannot guard him. He's unstoppable. He's a beast down there. He owns the paint. Right, Brooke? My man. Thanks, Alice.